and welcome to the first of the loser brackets and I won the die roll sure um no Okay, so we lead with a green and ship it back. I like this person. They're the other person that wants zero and two, and they're friendly. So that's cool. I like you. Uh oh, they're playing black. Technically, so am I, but yeah. <clears throat> I could really see the Grey Merchant of Asphodel being really useful in an actual black deck. Hmm. Probably is him. Great. I'm going to bounce whatever the hell you play with that. Uh-oh, blue-black. That's like my greatest nightmare ever. <laughs> I have no... nothing to play. Nothing. I have nothing. I have my bounce spell. And this thing, this thing will get tossed if I don't get a land next turn. <sighs> I am going to cry if I don't get a land soon. Okay. Um, you are going to turn into everything. Come on. Yes. Now the only issue is you do draw a card. Ooh, but I drew a forest. <laughs> Uh, which gives me one, two, three, four. Okay. But I mean, that does give me my bounce. Uh, I can bring my centaur in right away and maybe screw him over. How, I don't know how he's not playing anything with five, though. Uh, centaur comes in. I add black. I add a black. I'm just gonna mill you really quick. Sorry. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, sea god. Well, hey, I just, you know, helped you get rid of some land. So we're at five. So if I can draw one more, then I will bestow the Emissary onto the Centaur. Ew. Uh, so I reveal two, and he has to choose one to discard. Okay, so I have to reveal two. So, Savage Surge, and Breaching Hippocamp. There you go. Those are your two choices. <laughs> oh, we got rid of the Surge. Okay. Oh, and bestow onto you.
So now it's a 5-7 with Trample. I'm obviously going to be sending it over. So he'll still take two. And I get this off the field. I wasn't going to bounce this just because, oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Um, ordeal comes in next turn. Just slap it on the centaur. I didn't think my return centaur would get this much play. Hmm. He's got to play something. Ew, a wall. What's he going to return? Sea God? All he's got is Sea God. And that's back to hand, right? I don't remember. Oh. Okay. So, uh, here... This and a blue. It is now a six eight with trample. So I blow up your wall and kill that. And I'm going to dissolve his sea god's revenge when he casts it. No, he can't even cast Sea God's Revenge, because he doesn't have the mana for it, and I got rid of three of his lands. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I like you. You're cool. I have not drawn a single black land. Are you kidding me? There's five of them out of the 24 cards. I got a one in five chance drawing them. Can't get them. Ew. Mmm... Mmm. Um, uh, no. <clears throat> Here is my favorite guy. He's the one I would have preferred to stack these on. But, you know, what are you going to do? Force you into the block, because, you know, 7-9. If he draws a land this turn, I'm going to cry because I can't dissolve it. You're going to bounce the centaur? Okay. I would have thought you would have bounced the returned centaur, but sure. See, now I can see God, the returned centaur, which will still put the emissary into play. But wouldn't he want to wait for me to put down something first? Which, you know, I'm not going to at that point, because... I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's deck does. It doesn't have... What does your deck do? I mean, I've got a three-card advantage on him right now. And, I mean, he's got more in hand than I do. What's he thinking on? He's debating if he's going to see God me. Nope, he's going to Chimera me. Good choice. <sighs> do I bounce it and make him take eight? Thank you. 
I draw two. Got an island. Okay, now you're going to move the block. And I should have bounced before blocks were declared. Oh. Yeah, that's on top. I play this. And then I play my scorpion. And I can dissolve his sea god, because at this point he would have to sea god me. And that's GG. I might actually win once. I might actually win once. Ew, wave crash triton. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do? Um uh, you know you're not gonna do that one. You stay on top. Okay, I don't actually know what his deck does, so I'm just going to resubmit and hope that we can beat him. I'm really seriously contemplating taking out these black cards altogether and replacing them with, like, anything else. Like, just cut black, maybe? Four, five... What do I have? I mean, that centaur, though, is so useful. Cement. I don't know, like... I don't know if I want to pull these, put in the Chimera, and... Ugh. He plays first. I do not pass. He mauled the last game, right? He mauled down to like six or something. I have a better turn one play than you do. Triton Shore Thief. <laughs> uh oh, he got his blues and his blacks. Oh, we got an Omni Speaker. I kind of like Omen Speaker. I mean, it's a pretty cheap blocker, and it gives you two scry. I'm coming around to scry. I know I said I didn't like it, but I'm coming around to it. It's not that bad now that I've, you know, played with it a bit more. Bottom and top. Okay. Ooh. I'm coming at ya. No damage will be done, but this is mostly just to build up stacks. Stacks upon stacks. And if nothing else, I'll at least have the voyages end for next or next turn. Or the unicorn, depending on what he does. What's he playing? He didn't get that insta-gib, that one colorless, two black, did he? No, he got a helm. Okay. So he'll make that unblockable. Oh, never mind. No, he won't. <clears throat> hey, you gonna block me? You should block me. No, I'm not going to cure this, though. There's no way he's going to block this. Well, no, he should. And moment of silence while I go do something really quick.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, since he's going to do that, we're going to voyage and bounce this guy. <laughs> Ooh, my emissary. Uh, top. No creatures were blocked. As such, nothing happened. <laughs> Ew. His devotion to black is two. As such, I will show the unicorn and the cure. Here you go. Unicorn and a cure. Do you take away my mana acceleration, or do you take away my insta-gib gain life? You take away my insta-gib gain life. Cool. Okay, before I do anything, uh, swing bada bada. Turning this into a 4-5. I draw two. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then I centaur. Ooh, and all horizon scholar. Another harpy and his other chimera. Okay. No players need an exile. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. You may spend mana as though any mana of that cost. Fuck. What's he gonna hit? Probably my emissary or my. He's probably gonna get my hopes. This would be the card to go for right here. Yep. But you're tapped out. Can I bestow this yet? No, I can't bestow it until next turn. So he'll keep two mana up. So that way he can stymied hopes me. Um, but thankfully I've drawn enough land that between that and the unicorn, I can just, you know, ignore it and bestow. Okay. So now that's only blockable by walls, which I'm fine with. Ew. Ew. I don't have two green. Fine, we bestow this to you. Two, three, four, five, bam. <clears throat> and since we can't block you anyways, because you're only blockable by walls, I win next turn. Why couldn't this have gone this well last game? <laughs> what are you playing? Hmm? Ew, he has his own centaur. Crap. <laughs> okay, what are you going to hit me with? Come on, do it. Do it. Island, ah, oh, my Nylea's, my Dryad. Huh. 
Huh, never mind, I do one of these anyways. I swing for the fence. You double up here, I still win. Because I squeeze just enough damage through to win. Yep, I win. Yay! Alright, I will see y'all in round three. I think I get to round three. Bye!